company, John, but at what price, at what expense? After what happened last month, he demanded this match with the white feeder, Lobo, who has been involved in more no rope four wire matches in CZW than anybody tonight will face the white feeder in that ring, surrounded with no rope and barbed wire. I mean, and Eric, when was the last time the white feeder stepped into the squared circle, Daddy? It's been a long time, Daddy. And that is our boss right there, Jared Lobo, defending our company's pride, Eric. Our jobs are on the line here tonight, Daddy. Seven months ago at the Cage of Death 3, and white feeder took some time off with shoulder surgery, excuse me. He had a shoulder injury. But tonight he returned after a seventh month absence in the ring. And still not 100% healed, White Feeder. He may go down, and he may go down hard here tonight at the hands of Sheriff Lobo. How about Lobo? Is he 100% after suffering that, blo that broken clavicle last June? I mean, do you remember Cage of Death 1 and Cage of Death 2? That man made Cage of Death famous. with the crowd. Something you don't have to worry about with Lobo looking at his body. I got your back. 
I got news for you. White Peter be lucky if he came out of this of this match with just his arm being injured. Our boss, Sharon Lobo, is a sick, sick man, Eric. Can Rock and Roll even count to 10? There he is! Lobo will do anything to win. Anything. He'll set his opponent on fire, Eric, if he has to. Remember the pyramid of hell four, that the four tables set on fire? It's chaos here. The owner of our company. This match is going to be bloody. It's going to be brutal. And anything can happen. It's anything goes. He's running about as honest of a company as World Cup right now. Ah. Oh, look at this. Dancing around in there like he's Muhammad Ali. And look at the boss. He looks in great shape, Eric. Tremendous physical condition. He's lost about 20 pounds because he probably hasn't eaten in two weeks. Scared out of his mind about being in the ring with the white feeder. Beautiful snap suplex there by White Peter. White Peter goes for the cover. Could you imagine if this match ended early with a vertical suplex before they even went into the barbed the wire? He's going in, no. Uh-oh, baseball slide and a clothesline. SPO. Count to three. I mean, Eric, Rebel's doing a tremendous job already as the official. As good a job as he did when he helped steal the company from John Zay. Oh, oh, come on. Two count. You've got to be out of your mind. There's only two. Calm down. It's not over. Swings him into the barbed wire. No, it's slide again. Big boot by the White Beater. White Beater and Max Smack together again for the first time in a wrestling ring in seven months. It was the cage of death three in which Justice Payne injured the shoulder of White Beater. White Beater has been on the sideline since that time. Last month, he finally returned and made a tremendous impact. Remember when he, when he suplexed Lobo off of the stage through the glass, through the tables, through the barbed wire, through the light tubes? You know, I was kind of hoping after Cage that three, we'd never see the White Beater again in CZW. Not a chance. Not a damn chance. Go get him. White Peter, no. Again, a White Peter's had enough. He didn't come here for headlocks and suplexes. He's got him. He caught him. Into the guardrail. And these fans here tonight appreciate the return and effort of our White Peter. Right into those steel guardrails, Eric. They're about, what, 75 pounds a piece? About that. Steel chair across the back. Right to the back of Lobo. This is the very first time, John, that these two have met one-on-one -on -one in CZW. Remember the last time they met at crushing the competition with uh -oh. White Beater and Lobo went off the top? Ow! That balcony area through a flaming table. He just grabbed that steel chair right around the head of our boss, Eric. And of course, you may remember back to last year, you long time CCW fans, the last time Lobo was involved in a no rope barbed wire match was in Smyrna, Delaware, as he was victorious over Madman Pondo. God rest his soul. And White Peter staying right on top of Lobo, Eric. Hitting him with everything he can get his hands on. And with a Gatorade bottle. White Peter and Smack brought out that barbed wire table, which will come into play, I would imagine, momentarily. Lobo and White Peter positioning each other. He's got him up for a Death Valley driver. Cannot grab the head. Ow! Drives him through that table. Ow! And White Peter is just screaming in pain. Remember, he's got an injured shoulder. He is not a healthy man. You know what they say, Eric? Be careful what you bring to the ring, because it may be used against you. Wait a minute, we got problems here. He's screaming in pain. He just re-aggravated that shoulder injury. He injured that shoulder. That was Lobo. He gave him that Death Valley driver through that table. I don't know if he landed wrong, or I don't know if it was the, the impact from that Death Valley driver. Oh, wait a minute. But he re-aggravated that shoulder injury, originally injured by Justice Payne, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, wait a minute. They can't end this match already. This isn't about the boss should go over there and beat him a little more. This isn't about the white feeder anymore. He shouldn't even be in there. He You're right. He shouldn't even be doing this. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Eric, this is not good. Not at all. I guess it's over. White Peter still wasn't 100%. We talked about that earlier, guard too low. I just hope he's okay, John. I just hope he's okay. He came in back. He came back too early. He came back too early. God knows these people don't have any sympathy for him either. Looks like White Peter's been seriously hurt, so. Seriously hurt. We're gonna have a riot on our hands in a minute. I mean, Eric, thanks to Justice Payne and Lope, but we'll never see White Peter again. This is just, this is a, this is a real serious incident right now. This, this calls for a celebration. Celebrate, hurt. You're sick. You're a sick, sick man. There is a wrestler, one of. There's a yeah, member. Sure the boss is throwing an after party. Yeah, there's a member of our family that is down back there. Show some compassion. He's not part of my family, sure. White beer makes me sick anyway. I hope he never comes back. Somebody shoot you. Just somebody shoot you. I wish Allen Iverson was here right now. He'd take care of you. Allen Iverson has his own problems, Eric. Wait a minute. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? That is the former owner of this company. Oh, wait a minute. What is he doing here? That's John Sanders. He shouldn't be in that ring. Here comes Lobo. Wow. Eric, he was banished from CZW. But, but Lobo needs an opponent for that barbed wire match. Uh oh. Oh, what? Now he gets. He's gonna talk? Zandon, who just recently defeated Justice Payne for the World Heavyweight Championship in Ireland. This, of course, before Justice Payne regained it. Give me about 60 
seconds, and although I am going to be the living hell out of you. What do you think is going through the mind of Lobo? These 60 seconds are going to be the longest of his life. I mean, come on, Eric. Sheriff Lobo is not afraid of John Zanding. The following 60 seconds are going to be the longest of this man's life. His life is flashing before his eyes. How he laughed at Zanding. How he laughed at the fact that he put that man out of a job. Stole his company from him. Well, it was funny, Eric. It you was better, quite you better watch it. If he went back control of this company, you're out of here. It will never happen, Gargulo. You better. Not like Sheriff Lobo had to beat John Zanding before. Oh, get out of here. Well, he's right, Eric. He was not prepared for John Zanding. He came prepared for the white people. Oh, but Zanding's prepared for him. Oh, man. See this? Zanding's prepared for him. This has got to stop, Eric. I don't think there's a fan in this building that would agree with you. Bring them back, damn it. Oh, man. Seconds are up. Tick tock. You don't think Lobo's gonna take that from him, are you, Eric? He's gonna get in there. All of the months of taunting. John Zanding, who could barely even pay his bills without ownership of a company. Almost out of the house, almost lost his family. Lost his manhood. Ah, that's his problem. Because of Lobo and the Rock and Rebel, who screwed him out of his company. Do not discount the effect that the Rock and Rebel had in this. And now, finally, it comes to a test of strength. Is he out of his mind? I mean, come on, Eric. The Rock and Rebel has guaranteed that he will call this match just the way he sees it. Oh, yeah. I buy that. I mean, he's a very credible official. He's a veteran in his sport. He knows the rules. Zanding now playing games himself. Signs and everything. I don't disagree with him there. I mean, Eric, how is he just to walk back in here anyway and say, I'm going to be in this match? Lobo's already won this match. Why don't you, go in, you go, go in there and pose that question to him, Mr. Journalist? Go ahead, Araldo. Jump in there. Well, Jump you know, the I have floor. been known to walk down to the ring at times, Eric. And walk out. Big clothesline. A short arm clothesline. I mean, this is really unfair. Sheriff Lobo was no way. He had no idea he was going to be facing John Zandig tonight. He was prepared for the right beater. He said it himself. Here we go, John. Uh oh. Only the way Zandig can do it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Welcome back, John Zandig, to CCW. And someone call 911. <laughs> and look at Zandig's hair. Caught up in the barbed wire. He may not even be able to move. And look at the rebel. Look, he's helping him, Eric. He's been a very biased official. Please. He didn't have to help him. All right. Lobo now break it up. Uh oh, white tube. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, he's paying for it now, isn't he? And again, just talk about the hatred between these two men. Lobo, one of the first four graduates of the CZW Wrestling Academy. John Zandig gave him his start. John Zandig reached the pinnacle 
of his career as a wrestler and as an owner of a pro wrestling company at the Keys of Death 3. And then months later, it was taken right away from him by that scumbag. Oh, yeah, you only tell one side of the story, Gargiulo. Oh, you forgot when Sheriff Lobo got hurt. Huh? Where was John Zandig, huh? He didn't even call to see if he was okay. He called him. You know it and I know it. I mean, John Zandig probably wishing right now he didn't even show up here tonight. He's better off being homeless. I don't think so. I think Zandig is relishing in the movement. Zandig is the type of wrestler, the type of man that becomes energized at, at the thought of pain, by feeling pain. Any kind of pain, it energizes him. He don't look energized now, Eric. He's busted wide open. He feeds off of this. Lobo shooting him in with that barbed wire. Ah, ah, yes! And he deserves it, too! That is razor-sharp barbed wire used to keep prisoners inside of the world's toughest prisons all over the world. Razor sharp, just digging into the back of John Zandon. Look at how vicious Sheriff Lobo was just laying in the right hands. You know, he almost walked in his building the world heavyweight champion tonight. Uh oh. Imagine what would have happened then. Yeah, but it didn't happen, Eric. Justice Payne screwed him again. Lobo right now has him in position for a suplex. Remember, you have. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, slingshots him. That razor short four wire just cutting through his stomach. See, look, John Zandig wants to come in here and mouth off Gargiulo, and now he's paying the price to Sheriff Lobo. He shouldn't even be here anyway. John Zandig is more experienced in this kind of match than anybody in our company. He is the current holder of the Big Japan King of Death Matches title. I mean, Sheriff Lobo is not to be played with. He's a sick, he's a very sick, psychotic individual. Lobo's feeling <laughs> a suicide dive over the barbed wire, and that was absolutely suicidal. I mean, our boss just dove out of there better than a junior heavyweight. John, but how about the condition of White Beater? What about White Beater? What's going on back there? Now, who cares about White Beater? He's gone, he's history. Hopefully we'll never see him again in CZW. We may not. And it would be a damn shame if that Thank was the God. case. He'd be doing us all a favor. Lobo standing tall in the company that he owns. He is the owner of Combat Zone Wrestling. Ow! Ow! What a chair shot. What a chair shot. Out of desperation, but it got the job done. That one went to the upper deck. I hope the kids in the foul section brought a glove. And look at Rebel, right on the outside, calling it, administering the tank count just how he sees it, Eric. Very biased, unbiased officiating. For now. How about that quick count earlier? Huh? He's very consistent with his counts. Big Daddy Smooth has Lobo up standing as a barbed wire board. Uh oh The barbed wire board, roll underneath. And look at the boss, he's busted wide open as well. Oh, it's a bloody mess in there. Bleeding like an alcoholic's liver right now. Just a bloody mess. Looks like John Zandig's bleeding out of his eye, Eric. Zandig, of course, has not, has not even wrestled since February. Has not even oh. wrestled this guy. Oh. Oh. Not done much of anything since February. So how much stamina does a man who has not even wrestled a match since February have in a match? Oh, here we go. Oh! Right into that barbed wire board. And this match is brutal, Eric. I think the Red Cross could set up a blood drive right in the center of our ring and meet their quota. Look at that count. Very consistent. Three. Very consistent with his counts, Gargiulo. How dare you even say that about him? Consistent for being a biased official. I mean, come on. He's employed by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. Zandig just pushed him. They do background checks and everything. Oh, yeah. The most corrupt athletic system in the country, I'm sure. Lobo can barely stand up. And again, the longer a match like this goes on, the more it goes in the favor of Zandig. Uh-oh. 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 
Bam! Jumping Falcon Arrow! Excuse me, he's ending! Yeah, he's right in position two! Two and three quarters, Eric! So close, yet so far away! A total can count faster than that. Just think, Lobo can get rid of White Beater, and John Zandig wants it for all in one night! So what happens? Does Zandig win back control of his company if he pins Lobo? Does he win a contract here at CZW to be an active wrestler? And look at John Zandig just whipping Sheriff Lobo. Although Lobo has a shirt on, that barbed wire is so razor sharp it pierces right through the shirt. Uh-oh. Oh, he saw him, Eric. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about every minute that he has been without his company. All the taunting, all the promos. Every week he turned on Big UTV and saw Lobo laughing, gloating about taking his company away from Zandy. Well, Eric, it was funny. It was quite humorous. Zandy now in complete control. Oh! Lobo right now being flown around like a crash test dummy. Rebel checking in on Lobo, expressing his concern, making sure he can continue. Lobo tossed one. Oh. And this building has seen some historic uh -oh. changes. He's playing over here. He's coming for you. Five years ago. Oh, wait a minute. He just put his hands on the official, Eric. He should be disqualified and thrown out of here. Five years ago, this building saw one of the most brutal and one of the most violent barbed wire matches ever in the history of this sport. Uh -oh. Tonight, CZW has uh -oh. written a brand new chapter in the history book. Oh! Did you see that? Somebody stopped the match. And this place is going nuts, Eric! Somebody stop the match already, please. Zandig right now, blood covering his face. Can he even see at this point? Can he even see what's going on? And he just throws Big Daddy smooth around like a sack of potatoes. Looks like Sheriff Lobo's hair is all tied up in the barbed wire, Eric. This is not good for the boys. And you should be outraged. Oh, it's great for the boys. I'm loving every minute of it. Lobo bleeding from the back of his head. He's been signing your paychecks for months. And they've bounced ever since. We've lost investors. We've lost people. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. Crosses it over the guardrail. He's a worse manager. He's a worse manager than Kenneth Lay. I mean, come on, Eric. My pay's going up since Lobo's been here. Speak for yourself. Lobo winding up with a chair. Excuse me, Zandig winding up with a chair. Straight to the back. Damn him. Steel chair, Eric. Why's John Zandig got to use steel chairs? Somebody call Lobo's family and make sure his life insurance is in order. Uh -oh. oh, here we go. A lot of tables over there. And Zandig has access to all of them. Eric, this match has been bloody. It's been violent. It's been brutal. Zandig setting up a table, Rocket Rebel trying to keep some order. All of the wrestlers in our locker room are behind us on the stage area watching right now. Some rooting for Lobo and some rooting for Zandig. Everyone's rooting for Sheriff Lobo. He's the boss, Eric. Zandig right now has Lobo where he wants him. Has him in a compromising. Bam! Again, John, one has to wonder, what, what is on the line of this match? Is it just pride, or is the company on the line once again? Eric, these two hate each other. They want to beat the hell out of each other. Where did Zandig go? I mean, Sheriff Lobo hates John Zandig. Uh-oh. What is he doing up there? I used to watch matches in this building as a fan from that area. So I can attest to exactly how high that is. He has to be about 20 feet in the air. Uh-oh. 
so much for the chain. Uh oh, we're gonna see John Zandig fly. Look at him like a suicide bomber. Uh oh, wrapping himself uh -oh. in a bomb. Good, Eric. What does he have to lose, John? What does he have to lose? Who's going to sign Eric here? He doesn't work here. He doesn't own this company anymore. What does he have to lose? Who's going to sign our paychecks tonight? We got problems over there. Both wrestlers are down. Zandy getting up. He's a bloody mess, though. He's paying a price, Eric. He's going on pure adrenaline. I think that wall over there is going to need a new paint job by the time this match is over. Uh-oh. And look at Sandic just feeling it. I didn't hear a bell, Eric, so it's not over. John, is there anywhere in this country where you will see a match this violent, this brutal, and this downright sick? Nowhere, Eric. Only right here in CZW will we see this kind of brutality. Sandic following through. Look at Lobo. That white shirt has changed for the color red. Sandig has to be in a real bad position right now at the amount of blood that he's lost. Same goes for Lobo. Both Lobo and Sandig in a lot of pain. Look at them, both of them. Busted up. Heads busted wide open, blood all over them. Lobo rolls through. Sandig rolls through. What's Rock and Rebel doing? He just slid a chair in there. Your body. I didn't see that, Eric. Come on, look at that. See the two. Your competent official. That was just a two count. A chair in there. That was only a two count, Eric. Big surprise. That was a very fast two count, too. Rock and Rebel checking on the condition of both wrestlers. Zandik now sliding outside of the ring. What more can he possibly bring it to this by a time, Eric. He don't want to be beat up anymore. What's he going to do, back his truck up inside of this building and use the truck next? Remember the last time these two were in the ring? John Zandig was pleading with Lobo. Please don't beat me up anymore. Remember that match? The canvas covered in barbed wire squares. The pyramid of hell. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Eric. He's not supposed to be bringing them in this ring. This is just too much. I mean, Sheriff Lobo's worked hard to clean up CZW. This is just too much. I understand the hatred and dislike between both wrestlers, but this is just, this is just too much. Eric, why's he gotta bring light bulbs? If there are kids watching, cover your eyes because this is not going to be pretty. Uh-oh, he's signaling for something. The mother effing bomb. The oh, mother effing bomb. No, no. no. It's going up! No. He's going up! The mother effing bomb! If he has enough left to get him up there. He was looking right at you, House, when he said that. He's lost a lot of blood in this match. Uh-oh! He's going up! No. Ah. Not the Death Valley driver. Ah. It's over, Eric! It's over! The same mode that took Ray Fido out earlier! Right this calls for a celebration tonight. Zanik is in a lot of trouble. That head and neck. Oh, but Sheriff Lobo with the gun. Into those. Big Daddy Smooth tubes. just set up that barbed wire board in the corner. And again, all the wrestlers in our company have gathered around watching this matchup. They don't know who to, who to root for. They don't know who, who will win the match if Zandig wins the match. Will the company change in their favor? If Lobo remains owner, no, over will here, over here, over here. they still remain in a favorable position? Over here, over here. What's Lobo doing with that board, Eric? Gotta think those watchies are biting their nails right now watching this. And look at Rebel, he's asking, he's asking Sheriff Lobo, can you continue on? Are you okay? How many fingers I got up? Zandig getting his arm taped up. His arm in real bad shape. Now look, 
Now look at Rebel over there, making sure John Zandig is okay. He may have tendons hanging out of that arm right now. But the boss is not done, Eric. He's now placed that board over two steel chairs. And Zandig going into convulsions. That is how much pain he is in. Have you ever seen what an animal looked like on the side of the road after being hit by a car? As it just goes into convulsion. Uh-oh. Sucking up, looking for that last breath. Big He's right hand there, man. Uh oh, it looks like he's going to finish him off. Looks like he's setting him up for a pile driver. Get a couple of right hands. A pile <laughs> driver, maybe a power bomb. No! 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 Bam! Oh, no! A ball wheel slam through the four boys. One, two, two. He's back, though. No. That was only two out. I say to myself, what's it going to take, damn it? How much pain can a human endure? It was only two, Eric. These two even human to begin with. And look at Rebel cleaning up in there. Some wrestlers condition their body to be weightlifters, to use power moves. These wrestlers condition their bodies to endure pain. I mean, one thing I can say, Rebel has caught this match right down the middle. Bam! Right in the face. It's just getting downright disgusting. One more time. Listen to these sickos. Uh oh. These fans have never seen Jericho anything like wrapped this. in that barbed wire. Two men practically killing themselves, killing each other for three letters. CZW. Sheriff Lobo's a bloody mess. Look at the back of John Zandig. The glass. The cuts. The blood. Zandig looking for something here. Looking for some barbed wire. I think what he's doing, he's calling for help. He don't have any friends here anymore. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding this me. This is... Someone's gotta get in there and do something. You gotta be kidding me. What's he gonna do? Light him on fire? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Talk about a the man possessed. The telling him no. He's telling him no. Talk about a man possessed with Bam! Back. And he broke the chair. Uh-oh. He broke the chair. Bam! Force of impact. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. You son of a bitch. Wait a minute. He, good, he deserves it. But who's gonna count the three? He's got another uh -oh, chair. Here we go. Bam! One more time. And that head has to be spinning. That head has to be spinning right now. Wait a minute. Here comes Doomsday Danny Rose. And a flash, the Rachis. <laughs> right to the back. Someone had to do something. Bam! They cut out. They cut out of the after party early. Bam! Yeah, they're collecting. Hit him again. Lobo is collecting. Hit him again. All the favors. The favors that he's given the Rachis. This is just bullshit. Wait a minute. They are tying up Dandy. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him. I make a wish he never came here. They're gonna kill him. Sacrificial lamb. Uh oh! They're gonna give him that chair to once again. Bam! Right into that barbed wire! Sandwiching him. Bam! Enough already! Ah. Finish him up! For God's sake! Ah. Have a little human compassion. Oh, Eric, he deserves every bit of this beating he's getting. One man against three fresh, four fresh, and another.
with the weed whacker. Bam, decapitator. He's got a weed whacker.
Johnny Zandig can do it. <laughs> Welcome back, John Zandig, to CZW. <laughs> Has him in position for a suplex. Remember, you have. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, sling. <laughs> and a match. Oh, here like we this. go. Oh! Has oh. written a brand new chapter in the history book. Oh. Excuse me.